I'm here with Ronnie again, guide from Nazareth Village. Ronnie, I just was down at the well, and I know that every village has a public source of water. Yeah. And I'm hearing water right here. What is this? Well, if we get closer, we'll talk about it more. Okay. Follow me. Please have a seat, Gary. Oh. So, we have water. <laughs> Where is this coming from and what's it, where is it going? Well, actually it's coming from the drain pump of the roof that lays the rain out of the roof straight to a channel. And this channel is actually from the rain, at least up to the vat down there. What's the vat? Oh, the this, use of the vat. Like a catch area? It's kind of like a filter. You know, the sediments will stay down, the clean water will flow through the channel and fills a cistern and a courtyard of this house. This little uh, channel goes into a cistern? Yes. Under, uh, how far underground? It's like about five, me five meters depth and three uh -huh. to four meters wide in shape of bell uh -huh. inside of the house. So it's for inside use? It's yes. like having in-house water? Absolutely. Yeah. Now, was that normal or only a few people would have it? Well, that point's about the wealth of the family, uh -huh. uh, big wealth uh -huh. of family. They might own a vineyard, for example. Ah, uh -huh. so it wouldn't... So this wouldn't be a public gathering place like the well down the, no. the path there? No, it's for years. Uh, oh, if you don't have a well, yeah. you'll dig a big, huge cistern for uh, the public to use it. Uh, the well down the path there, so it, that, is, that is where women would come when? Or who well, would come? Well, it's a, it's a good social place, yeah. actually. Everybody meets and gather, yeah. but mainly the women when they yeah. come to draw the water yeah. uh, either early in the morning or towards the late afternoon. So yeah. it's a social place. Uh, a good place for encounter for all the people from the village. Now you mentioned it's sort of like a modern... Oh yeah. What, what did you call that? It's like a modern chat well, room? Or uh, yeah. <laughs> well back then by yeah. a well or a cistern, nobody had a Starbucks to go there. Uh, so what the women will be doing by the well while they do a laundry for example, is talking and gossiping wow. and chatting and wow. uh, you never know when they, one day they get lucky, the single ladies will find their Prince of Dreams showing up there. Wow. That's how they got married back then. How uh, how often can you fill something like this? What's the rainy season? Uh, the rainy season actually starts from October uh, and might end up in the beginning of March uh -huh. before the spring spring comes in. And this is limestone that it's the, the channel is cut in? Yes, Did it's a limestone bedrock. It'd be uh, uh, carved uh, out of it with the help of a hammer and a chisel. So the cistern is all cut out of limestone? Yes, sir. Do you waterproof it? Yes, about two coats of plaster. Well, the second layer will be a thick layer uh, mixed up with lime. And that's what they would do at the time of Jesus? Yes, that's how it was. Uh, now, you mentioned something about the fact that this water stops in the cistern. We were talking earlier. Yes. And you, you, said, you drew a spiritual analogy. I, I really like that. Say that again. Well, the water in the cistern, it stays down there. It doesn't go anywhere. Why? In the well, it's a fountain. It's a spring. It's a living water. It flows. Right. If we get in mind the scripture that points about in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13, when it says, My people committed two sins, neglecting the Lord, the fountain of the living water, and the people dug for themselves broken cisterns, and it doesn't hold any water. Hmm. Now, what, so, but what makes a cistern broken? Is it just earthquakes or things that would break a system and then a cistern and the water just. It might be, but it might be actually the. Uh, neglecting the, of the maintenance of the uh, system before the season comes in. Before, before the season comes in, the rating season, you need to fix it. If you don't fix it, you don't care uh, of the cistern, it, it might not hold any water in wintertime. So the important thing is living water. Absolutely. Really. That's what is the life-giving, and that sounds like the life-giving of the village itself. Yes, oh. the heart of the village. Thanks. You're welcome, Gary. Thanks. This is an amazing village, I tell you. Uh, first century recreation right here in the middle of Nazareth in a village very much like what Jesus would have grown in, grown up on, and who knows that he didn't walk this very, this very ground. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Thanks. Thanks well, a lot.